Hi, welcome to another edition of Antique Radio Archaeology. Today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to make a cat whisker for a crystal radio. And if you don't know what one is, stay tuned because I'm going to explain it all here in just a second. So this here is a crystal detector. And the way it's wired is you've got the two terminals. One attaches to the cathode, one attaches to the anode. Now if you ever look at the symbol of the diode, you can see that the anode is the arrow. The cathode is the straight line. And uh, they're kind of represented here. You've got your little arrow and you've got your straight line here. And this is typically known as a detector. It can also be used uh, as a rectifier when using AC converting to DC voltages. But uh, what we're going to do here is create a cat whisker. That there is a cat whisker and crystal. Modern diodes obviously don't look like this. They're just regular straight components that look like this. And uh, this is basically that junction in a solid state device. So they make these things. And these are made out of germanium. Typically this crystal here is galena. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a cat whisker which is going to assist with the anode portion of this crystal detector so that I can put this on a radio that I'm working on. And uh, it's pretty simple to do. This is going to be a little different than this one. The way the spring is arranged in this one is, is kind of unique to this particular detector. But uh, what you really want to do is you want to create something that looks like the spring out of a pen. A regular... Uh, ballpoint pen and uh, what you'll do is when you get that done you come in here you solder this end of it here that way it uses this as kind of the spring device that allows you to put a little bit not too much pressure on the crystal itself to find that particular station now this one here the spring isn't big enough so I'm going to go ahead and make another one now I have a little tool for that and this tool you'll be able to find online or in stores and really all it is is if you've ever seen um, a pump that pumps up basketballs and soccer balls and things like that it has these little needle things here and it's got a hole coming out the end and a hole in the side and I can use that to get my wire started and then I'm just going to wind that wire around this to create the spring. Now the thing about spring wire this spring wire here I picked up uh, online through Etsy. It's available mainly for jewelry manufacturers. And this here is a uh, type of spring. This is phosphor bronze spring wire. Uh, you can get different gauges. Uh, this is just happens to be the one that I got. I kind of wish it was a higher gauge. But, uh, oh well. Or, I'm sorry, lower gauge. I think it's too high a gauge. So, all I'm going to do is thread the needle goes. Okay, so I'm going to pull out about that much length. Bend this, and now I'm going to start winding my spring. Okay. Kink that. And snip that off. So now I've got my spring. Pull this out. There you have it. Stretch it out a little bit. Then, last thing I'm going to do is solder that in there. Hopes to have a little flux.
There you go. There you have it. A little bit of spring tension, and I'll cut this to length after I've mounted it on the, the board. But very simple. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's video and hope to see you again next video. Happy restorations, everybody.